why hip hop is down. Me personally, I do not feel like hip hop is down. Because I feel like motherfuckers say that shit all the time. I'm telling you, I'm going, yeah, you was right, Jay, because goddamn, boy, you got a lot of motherfuckers on that. But keep dropping them bitches. I appreciate it. Um, but I feel like um I feel like people say that all the time. Like hip hop is dying. And motherfuckers I remember motherfuckers were saying that shit the year last year and the year before that and the year before that. Like people me personally, I don't even feel like it's down. I feel like hip hop is actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, how is hip hop dad? Like how? <laughs> Why? Because what, Ice Spice, Stacey Red, and all the motherfuckers like, oh, that don't mean hip hop is down. You still got good music by artists, boy. But hey, let's see what my nigga Blackie has to say about this shit. You feel me? Hold on. Let me like this bitch up. I fought with Blackie, boy. Like this bitch up. Now, hip hop isn't really dead, but the path the genre is on is leading to certain aspects of. See, like, now that he said, said like that, like the path it's on when it comes to certain genre. I get that. I agree with that. But hip hop isn't dead, though. Hip hop will never die. You see what I'm saying? The genre dying. An important conversation right here. And if you appreciate a raw conversation like this, drop a like and don't be stingy. This has actually been on my mind for quite some time. I'm sure you might have a few things to say about it. And I want to start this conversation by taking a look at this article from Billboard. (laughs) Essentially, they talk about why hip hop has been on the decline on the charts. Although this is the article that I'm leading this video with, this conversation that I'm going to have in this video is actually way deeper than what what this article is going to talk about. I'm simply going to start this convo with this article and then I'll take it from there. With that being said, let's check out this article. As the halfway point of 2023 approaches, hip hop has yet to grace the top of either the Billboard Hot 100 or the Billboard Top 200 albums chart. By the beginning of last June 2022, already boasted number okay. one albums from six different rappers, Gunna, Lil Durk, Tyler the Creator, Pusha T, Future. Yo, speaking of like hip hop and like albums and shit, um, y'all seen that shit with Trippy Red? Like, he had his um a video a surface of that nigga a few years ago of him making fun of rappers selling like under or under thirty k and shit or whatever. Just like rappers selling like thirty k or can't sell more than thirty k. Like a video surface of that nigga making fun of rappers and his newest album just sold thirty k. Yo, <laughs> that yo, that's so, damn, damn. That damn talk about fucking karma. God damn. Sure, and Kendrick Lamar over on the Hot 100, even amidst Harry Styles. I don't listen to that historic 15 yeah. week as it was. I listen to Dirt. Has you? Let me say at the half point to the high pop is yes, the greatest top ten to the Billboard album chart. By beginning of the last June, so we said Ari boasted number one albums from six different rappers: Gunna, Dirk, 7220. This album was raw. I don't listen to Tyler Creator, Pusha T. Future, Kendrick, Harry, Jack Harlow. Okay. Actually, that's a good song. Let me take that back. I like that song. As it was Rain, rap hits from Jack Harlow, First Class, and Future and Drake, Wait For You, secured runs at number okay. one by last year's halfway mark. So this article, which a lot of y'all have been sending me, is essentially about how hip-hop hasn't been dominating the charts like it was in the past. So much to the point where half of the year is gone and there's yet a hip-hop album that's charted at number one this year. Now, that was until the Pink Tape which I got some things to say about. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. I like the album. I know a lot of motherfuckers didn't. I like the album. I got a lot of songs I like out of the album. My favorite songs is Rehab. Um, What's that other one called? Uh, All Alone. I follow All, All Alone. Fireman, Amped Up. Um, Or whatever it's called. What else I fuck with? I fuck with, uh, what's the other song called on that bitch? I don't know. But I fuck, I actually fuck with that one. I actually like it. And it's so crazy. When Pink Tape, um, before it dropped, I thought it was about to be one of them albums that was just going to be super hyped up. And then I was never going to fuck it like, but I actually fuck with Pink Tape, though. The album was cool. Like, I actually fucked with it. That's another conversation. And that's kind of surprising now that I think about it. It's not something I even noticed. Mostly because I don't put too much stock in what's hot on the charts. But obviously, I'll pay attention to it and I see it. And I know that's usually what the masses pay attention to the most. So this right. time last year, there are a bunch of number one rap albums like the article mentioned. And then this year, we're kind of going through this dip where, you know, that's not really happening. Now, just from some of the numbers I've been looking at and seeing hip-hop is far from in danger if you will overall it is after all the fastest 
growing genre and it's been like that for some time now i think hip-hop especially in the last decade Jermaine has Cole. Such an influx of listeners and revenue to the point where it is being prioritized in a lot of spaces because that's what's making the money right that's especially true for the record labels which we're going to talk a lot about in this video a lot Facts. of major record labels for the last couple years have made it their life mission to allocate a lot of their funds and attention to signing hip-hop acts specifically and that's obviously the case because that's where the money is right now rappers also have a pretty fast turnover rate and how that connects to the music industry is out of let's say 100 rappers a record label signs at least 80 percent of those rappers statistically speaking are going to fail now failure Facts. not meaning that they won't be able to sustain their career and find some type of success in their own way more so failure in terms of how a record label views it because they sign right. you with the hopes of getting a return on that investment right plain and simple it's just business and there's a cap and limit on how yeah, much you gotta think about when they sign you regular labels are like they expecting like to you to be on some like drake type level of like crushing numbers and shit like that that's why labels they be signing the hot house artists and shit because they be expecting you to be putting up drake type numbers and just you feel me that's the point to take, to get all that shit back that's the point you feel me up their resources the can actually be allotted Profit to every single act exactly. that gets signed Return now the budget is there but in a lot of ways it's not there because these labels are signing so many people and in the process they're losing a lot of money however they make it all back when they sign someone who makes up for all the other failed acts so that 20 percent that either breaks even or succeeds is the reason why they're banking on signing so many people and it's really a game of how many shots can we take because at some point one of those shots is gonna go in not only that one of those hundred shots is probably going to make up for all the other 99 people who we gave a record deal to <coughs> and so that's the right. way the industry is set up right now period and it's always been like that but now what's happened is everything is about filling quotas it's not how can we serve this artist to become the greatest artist they can possibly become it's how can we market this artist and make them appear as someone who's greater than what they actually are jay-z said it the best one time hove made a great point about how greatness actually takes time to develop and these days no one wants to put in the time to reach that greatness i.e nobody wants to put in the time and that's especially true for the labels right major Facts. labels don't want to take the time to develop these artists because delayed gratification the industry needs to make money now like today and that's at the expense of so not only the artists we'll but also the quality of the music how can we talent. market this music and artists in the quick this is part of the real estate of all time yes how can we market this music in the quickest way possible to as many people as possible and that's pretty much the game when it comes to these labels fuck actually having talent it's just how can we market this music in the quickest way possible and make as money as possible off this nigga or this girl Damn, boy. Quickest way possible to as many people as possible while spending the least amount of money as possible while making back the most amount of money. Now that right there is a problem because with the money being the focal point, what do you think takes a back seat? The talent. The talent. The talent. The music. Or, you know, the music per se. And that's why, like, you be, like, that's why you have, like, a lot of artists that you be thinking, like, damn, this nigga music or this girl music ass is here, like, how the fuck she famous and shit, woo woo, but then you gotta think about it because they label is making them famous, the marketing, that's what's making them famous, because this person could be so, just like, Ice Spice is the perfect example when it comes to this shit, remember last shot, everybody was clown her, she was gonna be a one-hit wonder, woo woo, all that hate, and everybody kept making fun of how she kept doing that little one emote ass dance where she'll fucking, fucking does the little twerk shit, grab her pussy, you know that shit. Everybody was making fun of Shorty doing that shit all last year. So what did she keep doing? She fed, so what do you think a label did? They fed into that hate. She kept doing it, kept making them uh, type of song, smoochy, uh, 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 this, this nigga, all that shit. You see what I'm saying? People, it, it's all it's just about how well you can market yourself so you will appear bigger than what you actually fucking is. And that's when the music takes a decline. See what I'm saying? That's right, the art. The last thing the industry wants to do now is to develop talent into super talent. The industry now wants to find subpar talent with no foundation, prop it up and make it look more grand than it actually is, Fast. and market that talent to give off the perception of talent that has been developed. Because developing mm. talent not only takes time, it takes money and it takes resources. The shortcut to that is what they're doing right now. They're discovering an artist who has the potential to appear as a star. The music might even be a 
amazing but the foundation might be sh 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 shaky but it don't matter as long as money can be made it don't matter as long as we can keep this artist in a position to be seen because at some point due to the nature of constantly getting exposed to something we as human beings we eventually find something that we like about the very thing we're getting exposed to this is marketing 101 if you can put something in front of people time and time time and over and over and over again you eventually gonna find something you like about it facts and time again a percentage of those people will start to find good aspects of whatever it is that's being marketed towards them now i spice who i put on i just said i spice what did i just say i said she is a perfect example of that shit everybody was hating on her last year she gonna be a one hit wonder she ain't going nowhere yet she finna fall off after this uh song you know munch everybody like yeah she for sure and look at her now one of the biggest female artists in the world right now ain't that crazy because one of them at the marketing she the her label fed into the memes the hate people it's all about marketing just because you hate on somebody you realize you inadvertently making that person more fucking famous and the Come thumbnail on. is a good example of this bless her lovely little heart i have nothing right, negative to say fuck. about the young woman's character but that's why i said her she's a perfect but, example but, of this as shit. an artist and as a brand she's a great example of this exposure thing exactly because well, let's be honest i fuck white spice her music cool but people let's be honest like i'm not a hate i'm listen I'm anything but a hating ass nigga. You'll never catch me hating on no nigga. I don't do that shit. It's not how my mama raised me. I don't hate on nobody. I don't do you. If it works, if it's getting you money, keep doing it. All power to you. You feel me? Positivity, love, whatever. But let's be honest. I fuck with Ice Spice. Yeah, she bad. Woo, woo, right? Yeah, she got some bops like her song. Like, ah, oh, it's jumpy cool. But people, we really like, really, really like, if we really be honest, her music is generic as fuck. Because... You could take any New York bitch and they can make the exact same songs that Ice Spice make. See what I'm talking about? Any New York bitch from the Bronx, I guess. And they can make that same exact music. Like, if you really like people, like, what Ice Spice has isn't like some extraordinary talent. Nobody's ever seen. Like, it's generic as fucking music. If we just put all jokes to sad, all this shit to sad, like, her music is generic as fuck. It's not some, how does she choke? No, it's just like, oh, okay. She a baddie. She a 10. She, she got fat ass. Like, you know, I'm just saying this was shit. She be saying her lyrics. Like, see what I'm talking about? Like, it's not, it's not clever or anything. It's just generic, basic ass shit on a fucking jumpy ass fucking beat. You have to pay attention to shit like that. Theory we're discussing. Cause she came in a game with this song called Munch. Oh, the song was blowing up and going viral on social media about a year ago and i vividly remember how the first two weeks it was going up everybody had something next er l by and they mama said she was gonna fall off and look at her now y'all swore that shit. oh yeah cool okay even i don't care if this song blowing up she finna fall off she a one hit wonder well where them niggas at now Everybody that said shit, everybody kept making fun of her and rolling loud performance. Oh, they don't even care about her music. They just go crazy after she twerk. Now look, she got a song with Nicki. I, I, she, 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 she friends with Kim Kardashian or some shit like that. She got a song with the UK artist. She did a song with Taylor Swift. All within the span of a year, people. <laughs> negative to say about it a couple weeks pass and people went from clowning the song to being indifferent to the song to liking the song to loving the song to them becoming a fan of ice spice how interesting i'm not saying that she's universally loved quite the opposite actually but i like ice spice more now that i've been exposed to her presence yeah. in comparison to when she initially came out so who's to blame for this you might ask well the labels because they're controlling 90 percent of the music that surface into the top. One of the bigger reasons why hip hop is able to dominate the charts in the first place has to do with the fact that hip hop is being prioritized over a lot of other genres by the labels, i.e. these records that eventually go number one have a lot of money behind them because getting your record spun on all these major radio stations actually costs money. And so the quality of the music has taken a back seat because the priority is how can we make back the money on this album we're investing all these resources into. And with that being the case, who do you think controls the kind of music that actually gets released? It ain't the artists. And in a lot of ways, and this is the scary part, the artist is now like the supporting opinion to the main opinion. 
and the main opinion is the label they're really calling all the shots and yeah they really call all the shots when it comes to music oh make this type of music do this type of music no do this do that yo the artist is merely involved in support of that shot so artists have literally and we're going to touch on this no in control. a second but rappers and artists universally have submitted their power to these corporations in hopes of becoming this big success Damn. what does this exactly mean well let's keep on talking when you look at them white kids with Raiders hats on, it's the white folks getting pimped. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm making their future. I'm writing down their curriculum. Right now, what I write in my album today, when it comes out in two months, that's what white kids is doing. So who really is getting pimped? First of all, fuck your bitch in the clean Versus the industry. See, Real the pop. I in rap industry at one point used to be silent. There was a time when we had rappers like Pac who was in the industry but never let the industry take the one thing he had, which was his authentic voice. Despite being a part of the industry, he never conformed to the standards of it. He kept a real outside and inside of the music. And that came with a lot of pushback. Labels didn't actually want Tupac in his purest form. They wanted a Pac they could mold into whatever it is they wanted to create him into. And he knew this. Pac on several occasions spoke about what he didn't like about labels and the industry. This is something that was depicted on the movie, All Eyes on Me. Before Pac signed to Interscope Records, he had this meeting with two label executives who just didn't understand what he was trying to do with his music. What happened specifically was they didn't like the idea of him releasing the song, Brenda's Got a Baby. Now that's a classic record, but obviously the music industry's focus is entertaining people and not emotionally moving people. Now we do have a couple thoughts, however. Little stuff, like maybe a couple of the tracks that just, we just hold off on for now. Like what? Brenda's got a baby. So you know who I am, and you know my music, and you think that I would actually scrap that song? Well, to be blunt, Brenda's got a baby is depressing. Now in wow. the end, Pac and Interscope started seeing eye to eye, but that was only when Tupac was able to vocalize to the label executives why this record was so important to release. The only thing they see is, can this be marketed as it is? Pac, however, like the genius that he was, flipped it on him and said, I am the market. This is mm. new, this is fresh, and this record is actually going to impact people on an emotional level. And he was right, because Brenda's Got a Baby came out on October 20, 1991, and here I am talking about it 31 years later. God the only damn. reason why Tupac was able to get his way is because he actually believed in his way so much to the point that he was willing to walk away. Rappers these days are not willing to walk away from the industry. They're walking towards the industry already being willing to conform and sacrifice their authenticity in order to join ship just so they can have this big infrastructure backing them up, i.e. a record Yo. label. And so what happens is the artists have given their power away to the industry because they want to make it in this. Sure. There's still that 20% who've maintained their power but the majority gives it up and so that has an effect on hip-hop across the board because the bulk of the rappers in the game follow suit and how does that affect the genre well the quality diminishes and the music is not as pure as it could be because not only are we dropping a bunch now to satisfy the quotas hard. of the industry but the majority of what we're dropping has no soul because you gave your soul to be in this industry you conformed and that directly has a negative effect on the actual quality because now we're not connecting with the rapper in his authentic form we're connecting with a malleable version of the rapper that the industry has created so the place the music is being dropped from is an inauthentic place it's coming from the wrong place because so many of our artists have decided to conform to the industry standard and since the industry standard is we want to make a bunch of money are you on the same page the 80 percent rapper says yes i want to make a bunch of money what right. exactly do you need me to do if you say jump 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 i will jump 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 if you say sit sit down i will sit sit right if you say sit sit down you say you say backflip backflip i'm a backflip backflip you say you say Hey, paint your nails, go put on the dress, go do this. They gonna do it. If you say go beef with this rapper, I'ma go do it. As long as it gets me money and I'm out there in people's faces, I get all the attention, then I do not care. I will say, for the main thing that these rappers be doing nowadays is so sad. Niggas will sacrifice their morals. None of y'all little favorite rappers have fucking morals. I hope y'all know that shit. These niggas sacrifice their morals. Y'all always say, Luminite fit people. No, 
You wanna know what Illuminati is, people? With selling your soul, selling your soul is that right there. It's pretty much where you just let the industry fuck over you. You pretty much just let the industry tell you what to do. That's what selling your soul is. None of that demonic depth. No, no, no. It's just pretty much letting the industry tell you what to do. Oh, no, this, this, and pretty much sacrificing your morals and not having no common ground to stand on, and no, and not having no backbone. You pretty much just let your lucky label size industry just fuck you. You feel me? Like you a puppy. Like, oh, do this. Oh, uh, go diss that person. Oh, no, we, yeah, that label, like, say you have a, a song you really passionate about, you want to put out, like, yes, I like this song, it means so much to me. Okay, yeah, that's cool, but you should put this one out. It's not really, it doesn't fit your step. Come on, folks. That's what's down. So if you say bark, 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 I will roof, roof, roof. Bark, bark, bark. And then there's that 20% who says, yes, I wanna make a bunch of money, but what comes with making this money? These are the artists who have similar spirits to guys like Kendrick or J. Cole. See, these guys have made so much money, it's not even funny, and they did it righteously. They didn't conform, that's only because they knew their value before the industry exactly. saw value in them. So many rappers wait for the industry to co-sign their value before they co-sign themselves. Approaching it from that Sad. perspective, when the industry does co-sign you, since the validation is what you were always chasing you're willing right. to give it all away for chum chains Yo, and that's what happens when you're chasing the validation of the industry that's how they get you most rappers just don't know their intrinsic value as artists no, which benefits sad. who the labels a person who doesn't know their value is more likely to get taken advantage of they're more likely to mold themselves after the expectations of the outside world yeah, which definitely really goes for anything but especially if you want to make it in the rap industry and the music industry period we're so quick to conform it's literally chipping away at our beloved genre that is hip-hop hip-hop has been infiltrated beyond anything i've seen man and the saddest part is with the way things are set up right now there's absolutely no going back record Damn. labels got too much power the average rappers willing to give away their soul for a twenty thousand dollar advance shit even 10k to be fair and the Fact music is not only lacking in quality but it's also lacking in heart it's lacking in conscious 80 percent of rappers are sleepwalking through the industry they're not even conscious they've been sleepwalking through this shit following the lead of the standard that's been set in place for them not realizing they actually have the power to set the standard but for that to happen it goes back to what i said earlier giving your unique power away and conforming to the industry agenda which is make dollar signs when really we should be putting the art first and not be so thirsty for them to let us inside the door right the average rapper right now is like that famished dog who's dying to eat that piece of meat because he's starving once they see that you're fiending for that key like a dope fiend is fiending for that next hit of crack they're going to hypnotize you and make you hyper focus on a key dangle it in front of you so you lose sight of what really matters which is your authentic voice Church in its Jermaine purest form Cole. for you to keep your authentic voice you can't look at getting inside the club as the end all be all the quicker artists realize that you're the club the industry is trying to have access to the quicker we're going to see a shift in the genre for the greater good also <sighs> stop giving your unique power away by waiting for the industry to validate you if we can get that Facts. back okay if we can just get that in check i think that would disrupt the whole genre in a good way and in return we're going to be able to speak life into the culture in ways we couldn't even imagine now just some additional thoughts on this topic I right here the thing about hip-hop now and just music in general now the music industry the last thing the industry wants now is for artists to take their time with music because the industry is a machine that has to keep on getting Jay, there's no way you just came back in my motherfucking chat to ask me how big a nigga dick is. Streets is done. Fed. And if that nutrition stops, the quality of the nutrition doesn't matter. If it stops, the industry is going to stop. And so artists have conformed sure. to that standard that was set by the industry yeah, so you just, yeah, and why so do you artists conform wonder, I don't. well artists conform because they see other people conforming and the majority of the industry i mean just majority of people in general are sheep right so yeah, if an industry right. is changing from the inside out what's going to happen is anyone who's inside that industry most people 80 percent, 90 percent of people they're going to conform because they see other people conform and so we have this cycle of monkey see monkey, monkey do because they'd be like oh well it worked for him doing it so let me just keep on doing that Motherfuckers just sacrifice their morals. Motherfuckers have no uh, ground to stand on, no backbones or nothing. You just let the industry, you let the label 
fuck you like that and in the end the <sighs> quality of the music ends up taking a hit like a huge hit i mean think about it like this do you think people are actually listening to albums now are people damn Go out fully spaz. I doubt he in this fucking video. Damn, though. I guess not. People are actually listening to albums now? No, nah, they not. Damn. I never. Damn. No, they don't. They don't. Motherfuckers really don't because, like, you need to understand what he's saying. Motherfuckers is not really listening to albums. Yeah, yeah. You listen to albums, but you ain't listening to that bitch. What happened when Kendrick, one of the greatest rappers of this fucking generation, dropped his Facts. Kendrick Lamar is one of my favorite rappers. Last project. What happened? People's attention spans are nah. goldfish status now. People couldn't even pay attention to the theme of No, they couldn't. People dead ass couldn't. That album was so fucking beautiful. People couldn't even pay attention to that fucking album. That, that, yo, that is fucking crazy, yo. Like the more you think about that shit though, like I want y'all really like peep this shit though, folk. Like, if you really think about how sad and pathetic that shit is, and that is why I like hip hop ain't dying, but it's hip hop just at a point where it's just a joke. Like everything, cause motherfuckers got the fucking attention span at, uh, of a fucking fish. Like it's just bad. Uh, the project people couldn't even pay attention to what he was saying in that album. Oh. You don't hear a lot of a lot of music fans talking about it. A lot of hip hop fans are not talking about that project. Why? It went against the ground. No, I don't hear nobody talk about that album. Nobody. I don't hear nobody talking about that album. You damn it. I bet if I told you Kendrick Lamar dropped the album last year, you probably be like, wait, he did? <laughs> you wouldn't even know. I think that album by Kendrick was almost like a test Ooh. to hip hop. Can y'all digest this? Let me give you guys this. I'm going to give you guys this, this, this body of work. And I'm going to see if you guys can digest it. Not not just that. I'm going to see if you guys are going to be willing to try to digest it. Uh, and what happened? What Jay-Z say? Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it? Clearly. Damn. <laughs> a lot of y'all motherfuckers are skimming through music now. I True. Because I want because I got something to say, too, because it's like this, right? When your little favorite rapper, right? Your little favorite rapper. Let's say your little favorite rapper releases an album, right? Because y'all know y'all niggas dick rap rappers and shit. Your little favorite rapper, whatever, right? And that's so true. Do you niggas actually listen to music or you just skimming through that motherfucker? And you just pay attention. You just hoping your uh, little favorite rapper sell fucking good. You're not really paying attention to the project. Hey, man. I don't think people are really listening like they used to and that's the biggest thing the listener is also changing it's not just that the industry is changing it's how it. the listener is receiving the music some sad shit. Mm -hmm. that's also changing and so we're going through this behavioral change in the industry from inside of it and then outside of it right. so the people making the music are changing their authentic ways of creating the music like the artists right in hip hop and just the music industry in general, but specifically hip hop, the artist is changing. The artist is letting themselves get molded into what the industry wants them to be. Oh, you really and so love they a create a body spaz, of work you? that fits right in line with that. Like, honestly, I just don't think people really want to hear albums now. People don't want to listen to albums now. And then we, no, we're, we're sitting here acting surprised why the quality of the music getting dropped is so subpar. It's subpar because we're not listening. We're not listening with our ears and our minds and our hearts. The music is kind of getting played and we're not really hearing what the artist is saying. But the biggest issue is a lot of artists are not even trying to say anything now. No. They're just saying a bunch of words. There's no purpose behind the words. There's no intention. There's no, <laughs> there's no the spirit most, behind the words. So, so of course it's going to fall on deaf ears. You're not making anything worth for me to listen Funny, to I and that's not all artists i'm saying just as a whole in general right obviously i'm talking about the mainstream and i'm talking about the things that are coming to the surface because black we gotta keep talking hey folks there's, 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 there's a lot of artists that are not conforming most artists are going to conform most artists are always going to conform because that's the easy thing and right. because doing it your own way actually takes a lot of heart and it takes a different kind of spirit to have the confidence to do it your way 
most people don't have that lion spirit. They just don't <coughs> have it. There's so much money in the music, oh. and so the meaning of the words have taken a back seat. Anyway, that's that's all I have to say for this particular topic. By the way, I recorded this video like about a month ago, and I'm happy I sat on it because you know I just wanted to add that in. But I'm curious what you have to say about this. Any any thoughts on it? Give me your thoughts, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. I am out. Peace. Life is crazy, people. It's fucking crazy how music is nowadays. No motherfuckers don't listen to songs on mo. Like motherfuckers really don't be listening to actual songs on mo. But at the same time, right? Like he just said. But at the same time, artists don't even really be saying shit in their songs. They just be they just be saying fucking words that rhyme and shit. Uh, hey man, it just it just it what it is, don't know. Just say what it is. Just the point of fucking hip hop weed is just you know. It's just the state of hip-hop is on right now.